Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome to a special sort of one-off video that I like to do usually once a month. Something a little bit different to our normal Minecraft stuff. Although this is in a way very similar. I'm sure all of you at some point have played with Legos. If you haven't, I don't know what you're missing. But I remember talking, I think it was about a month or two ago now, in a Zonocraft episode that I've been playing with this software on my computer that allows you to build with Lego, as much Lego as you want, as much Lego as your computer can handle. And you're all pretty interested in it. So, here it is. It's called Lego Digital Designer. I'll leave a link in the description below. This is not a sponsored video. I'm not getting paid for anything like that. I wish I was, but I'm not getting paid for it. Uh, it's just a really cool piece of software that I like to use, usually like when either I'm not doing anything or if a video is rendering and I need to be near the computer. I'll just come on here and have a little bit have a little play around it's so much nostalgia because I've I've still got all of my Lego somewhere I'm sure you guys do probably somewhere too but I've got mine all out in the shed I have tubs and tubs and tubs of it but I just obviously haven't played with it for a really long time because I have unlimited blocks of unlimited colors in here so uh, down the left here we've got like all of our categories our subcategories here we've got like the full I, I call them like normal Lego blocks. You've got like the one by ones, the one by twos, the two by twos, and they get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until they get to quite large blocks down the bottom. You've got like the rounded ones, you've got ones with holes in, you've got like Technic pieces in here, slanted ones, side slanted ones, rounded ones, flat ones, ones with little knobs sticking out at the end, doors, wheels, you've got all your different wheel types in here, you've got some actually quite some big wheels in here as well, and I'll show you, obviously I'm going to show you some of the awesome stuff that I've built on here. In fact, one of the best things to do, uh, I found, was to go on the internet and just Google search... Uh, Lego instructions and you can actually download or even just view online sometimes any Lego creation that has ever been made by Lego will be online for you to download for free you don't have to pay for it just the instructions and then you can actually build a real Lego creation inside of the game is so cool so you got roads here and you can sort of build on them and obviously when I downloaded this the first thing that I wanted to do was to build a huge city. I wanted to build a big Lego city because it reminded me of the days when I went to Legoland. I've been to Legoland a few times. It's uh, Legoland Windsor, the one in the UK, not anywhere else. I've never been abroad, uh, but they had this really cool Legoland in the UK and it had a Lego city and this thing was huge. I can't describe how big it was. I mean, some of the buildings were as big if not bigger than the room that you're probably in right now if you're in like your your bedroom or whatever you'll probably find that some of these buildings out of lego were bigger they had like uh, buckingham palace and the white house and these houses and shops they had a river with real water with boats that would lego boats that would sort of drive through it they had buses like london buses going around the uh, roads they must have had magnets underneath pulling them or something like that i don't know but it's totally awesome and uh, so obviously i attempted to i attempted to so let's open up it's not very big, it's not big at all you're going to be you're actually going to be disappointed after this build up because lego takes longer to build with than uh, Minecraft does. Minecraft is a lot quicker. Lego takes forever to build with, to get the de the level of detail that I like to have. So it takes a little while to load up because although it's not that big, there is a lot of blocks there. A crazy amount of blocks. In fact, I've got, I think it's like, here we go. We've got uh, a little road section. Ooh, there we go. We've got a little road section here and I've got a little fire station. And it doesn't look that amazing. Well, I think it looks crazy cool. But uh, it, as far as like the amount of houses there are, buildings there are, there really isn't that many. But then you've got to think about the detail. All of these blocks are all sideways. They're like little sideways two by two ones. So they all have to be curved around. Um, we've got like little axes sticking out. They're all like little brick layers, little uh, vents. I think that's actually a car grill but upside down to give this really cool sort of window top edge. Got numbers in there, a little bell on top. And then we've got um, some sort of uh, restaurant here with your sort of um, velvet carpet, a little bit of a menu uh, outside, some seats with some cupcakes and a croissant uh, out the front there. I think this one is a cinema. 
Uh, we've got the cinema screen upstairs. On the other side of the road, we've got a uh, hotel and a cafe or, or yeah, cafe. What would, you, what would you call it? Like a tea shop. We've got a barber's. This is a really cool one. If I can zoom in, if I can get down there. Oh, can I get down there? I can't really get down there. But there's actually uh, wigs at the window and there's uh, um, yeah, uh, hairdressing chairs and mirrors and all that kind of thing. And uh, obviously upstairs, there's like the, play, the area that he lives in or the owner that lives in. He or she, there's a toilet up there and stuff. Little pool club. And I think it's a detective office upstairs. Now, all of these buildings are real Lego sets. And I've just connected them together. Uh, so so I didn't make these up, obviously, by myself. I'm not that smart. Uh, but, uh, we've, yeah, and I don't remember what this one is. Oh, yeah, this one's a corner shop. They walk through. I think it's a post office as well and stuff like that. But, boy, these take a long time. I'm not joking you. Each building, so, like, this one, this one, and this one, each one, I would say, takes about six to eight, maybe nine hours to build not joking you and i'm pretty fast when it comes to finding the blocks that's what some of the time takes is sometimes finding the obscure ones that you've sort of never really seen before and then trying to find them like these little rail ones are pretty difficult to find but yeah each each one took about eight hours so we've got like eight 16 24 40 48 hours i would say 48 hours of building here now that's hard to put into minecraft if you built for 48 hours you could build an, a huge amount i mean think about a minecraft episode for me is about 20 to 30 minutes so we can get in in 48 hours we can get out like 80 episodes and that's obviously a lot more than what's here uh i've got a ferrari an eighth scale ferrari i've actually got this kit there we go i've actually got this kit in real life still built still built intact when i bought it i bought it from legoland in fact uh, and it was about 60 pounds back then which is a lot of money for a kid and um i i built it and it actually is is so cool it was really advanced for the time this was a 2004 design uh, but as you can see you could actually turn the steering wheel and it had a load of bunch of cogs and uh, and stuff like that. And it would actually turn the front wheels, which is really advanced for Lego uh, back then. I know nowadays there's just like crazy stuff that they, they sort of do with Lego. Um, but I forgot about it. And then when I saw the instructions, I was like, oh, yeah, I'll build this again in real in, in, inside the game. Because I don't know where it is or I don't have it anymore. And um, my mum came in when I was building it. And she went, oh, she said, that's your Ferrari. I've still got that upstairs. And apparently, she's still got it built somewhere, hidden. I don't know where, but still hidden. So it made me laugh. Um, it even had an engine at the back. Uh, this must have been back when uh, F1 cars had V12 engines. They don't have V12 engines anymore. Well, at least there's 12 pistons there. Uh, it is a V12 engine, but now they have like a 1.6 litre engine. They have tiny little engines, but they're really very price, uh, precisely done. It even had a differential at the back here with a whole gearing system so when these back wheels moved it made all of the engine parts move very very cool uh, it blew my mind when i was building this i don't know how old i was i must have been 11 or something like that 2004 what's that 12 years ago i would have been 13 11 yeah i would have been 11 so uh yeah this is actually a 13 year old um instruction set or 12 year old instruction set crazy absolutely crazy uh what else have i got though i've, I've got quite a few little things oh i've got um london bridge uh this is a, a sort of smaller it's actually quite big but all the models on it are small i just put some water down like the river thames here uh but yeah it's got little buses on it these were really hard to do because uh it, oh, in this lego um creator by the way you can actually uh rotate you can actually rotate stuff and, and curve stuff. So each one of these little hinges have been precisely sort of set up to have like this swooping angle. It takes forever to do, uh, but really, really cool. Really, really cool detailed piece. This doesn't look like this would take that long, but I would guess that this was probably a four hour or five hour uh, build. And you can copy and paste. So I only had to build one of these and then just copy and paste the other one. Hey, hey, it's like world edit for Minecraft. Saves an awful lot of time. I've got a Mini on here as well. A Mini Cooper. 
this is a really fun one to build. This is actually a really cool one because there's actually a load of features uh, that you can do with it. So, for example, I can click on this boot and I can open up the boot and there's a um, picnic basket inside of the boot. Uh, I can also do it with the doors, I think. Yeah, I can open up the doors on the side and inside there's like all the dashboard and glove box and egg and like uh, little air vents and stuff like that so much detail such a huge level of detail i can also somehow open up the bonnet but i can never find the correct like block to click to open it up but as you can see inside there's actually an engine inside there uh, underneath the grill i can't really see it from underneath either unfortunately but th th that was a really fun one to build again all of these are real lego sets um, that you can play with apart from a couple of them um, uh, but uh, you can actually just download these uh, download these instructions and build them uh, for yourself completely free software you don't have to pay anything you don't have to pay a single thing uh, what else have we got we've got um, oh yeah I tried one of the Minecraft Lego kits they're cool but they don't really work in Lego uh, Minecraft are obviously squares they're square blocks and Lego isn't square. You don't get square blocks in, in Lego. They're sort of um, longer blocks, taller than square blocks. So although it sort of works, we've got like a little mine shaft down the bottom here in a village on top going into a mountain biome. It doesn't really work that well, I don't think. But uh, still, still pretty cool. I've got a uh, train. Oh yeah, train. This is one that I built. There was no instructions to this. I built this train. Um for myself and I think it's not too bad little train wheels on the side got some little steps some little detail parts and obviously little chimneys and the bells and the whistles that they have and then a little storage for coal in the side there I was impressed with this this is uh, this is probably one of the top sort of Lego things that I've ever done no in, in real life I did I did build my own airplane once and that looked sick really really cool but I don't know if um I don't know if I could do it now. It looked totally awesome. <laughs> well, I don't know if I've got anything else. These take so long to do. Um, oh, yeah, snooker. <laughs> I just had a little bit of fun. Built a, a Lego snooker table here with some balls uh, in the pockets and on the table. And then there's the ginger me uh, uh, hitting the cube. Well, I'm about to hit the yellow, unfortunately. I'm about to foul. But, uh, yeah, it was a load of fun. I was going to build... It was originally gonna be be like uh, the crucible which is like the uh, biggest arena for snooker they have all the like seating around the side really really cool but obviously it just takes a really long time to do so these are sort of half projects little rests and stuff on the side of the table very very cool i absolutely love it so uh yeah if you guys want to have a look at this i think that's everything isn't it normal oh yeah oh yeah look i got another car as well normal uh, or another ferrari uh car here this one also has an engine like um, uh, like the F1 car, as in it actually had moving pistons uh, when the wheels dri um, drive. So when the wheels turn, it would turn it. You can, in real Lego, in real Lego, you can open this up. You'll be able to like literally rotate that and it would open up the entire boot. However, again... It's sometimes a little bit tricky, this software, and I can't always find like the exact block that you need to click to get it to lift up. Um, but it doesn't really matter that much. I just like looking at it. But there is a an entire engine inside there. You can sort of see the top of it there. And the same, I think the bonnet might open. Or not the bonnet, it would actually be the, the, the boot, wouldn't it, technically, because the engine's in the back. But yeah, there's like a little space uh, in the front. The seats are really cool in this, very uh, Ferrari-like looking seats. If I could have any job, I'm not good at it, I wouldn't be good at it. But if I could have any other job apart from making Minecraft videos, it would be making Lego creations for, like, people to build. Like, whoever... Whoever came up with this design, whoever came up, this is how we're going to make this Ferrari out of Lego, is a complete genius. There's no other word for someone to come up with this. You have to be an incredibly smart person because they're mind-blowing. Think of all of the things that you've ever built out of Lego instructions. Someone came up with that. Someone actually thought of that design to begin with. It's crazy. Very, very clever. Anyway, that's all we're gonna. That's all we've got time for, really. It's actually turned out to be a little bit longer than I initially thought it would be. Um, but yeah, I recommend that you do download and have a play with it and do some really cool stuff. Um, 
maybe uh, build your house out of it. That would be cool if you could build your house out of Lego and your little surrounding area. Maybe your local town, you could build it in like tiny little scale. So you could, ins instead of doing big buildings, you could do something like, uh, I don't know, let's do my house. I can filter by color. My house is white. Uh, hey, I don't want just that one. Oh, that's it. <laughs> I just had to... Uh, scroll up a little bit. Let's do my house like in in real miniature scale So like my house is like a T shape basically so it'd be like that and I can copy those on top there and On top there and then I'd have my roof on it So the roof I want to have out of orange blocks and in this one will be the slanted ones So it'll be something like that and something like that and that's sort of what my house looks like. This is the front of my house and the side. Imagine building it in miniature and then getting a, a little bit of a road going. So we can have some uh, road pieces here. Uh, that's a little bit big for a road in this girl, isn't it? That's better. You can have a sort of road going like that. And I've got a road that goes down the side of the house as well. <laughs> and then you can do like other your whole like area you can do your school and your park But if you make sure you do it on a real miniature scale You'll be able to make this city a lot bigger a lot quicker and make it look totally awesome You can show your parents and say look that's our house. I've made Google Maps in Lego <laughs> Very very cool if you guys enjoyed it hit that like button if you haven't already then feel free to subscribe We should see you in the next video